Are you ready for the big Texas shoot 'em up? We are. <laughs> Race, race number seven of the Castle GX Cup Series brings us to Texas Motor Speedway. It's the running of the Samsung Mobile 500 on the pole. For a race at 206 miles per hour, Dylan Poteet, his second pole of the season. Uh, alongside of him is Alex Tanker, row two. Has Rachel Williams and Zed Weinstein. Row three has... Christopher Martin and Michael Dawson, row four, has Charles Jackson and Kathy Kintara, row five, Zohar Munhan and Jasmine Acosta, row six, Colin Cropley and Ryan Cooper, row seven, Josh Osborne and Russ Batson. Field lined up in double wide formation as they come out of the sec uh, fourth corner. 34 laps around this racetrack and look at this view from the grandstands and the green flag waves and let's go racing in Texas. Dylan Pote jumps out in front with Alex Tanker running in second position. Rachel Williams in the 27. She goes in the third position. One of the rookies in the series. And by the way, I forgot to mention when that win at, at Bristol for Ray Castor. That earns him a spot in the All-Star race. Look at Alex Tanker. He's in a battle with Dylan Posey. Who leads that lap? Whoa! That would have been close on the, on the, on the, on the checkers, wouldn't it? Dylan Posey led that lap officially. Alex Tanker goes into the... Oh, we got trouble! Apparently, Trent Dunham has spun again with the 29 of Charles Jack Richards. He spins yellow out for the first time, I believe. No, we stay green. We actually stay green flag. As the car as the cars go through the smoke, Jack or Alex Tanker leads the race now. Colin Cropley goes into second position. Colin a little racy here in the Lone Star State. And here he comes to the inside with the help of Rachel Williams in the 27. And Colin dives to the inside. And it's Cropley to the lead. Still looking for that very first win in the Castle GTX Cup Series. He's come close a couple times this season, but hasn't quite closed the deal as Colin Cropley led that, led that lap, but he surrenders it now to Rachel Williams. And Rachel almost won the race at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Just had a just came up a few laps short to win that race. As now Russ Batson dives to the inside of Colin Cropley and Russ goes in the second position now. And Josh Osborne making a little go of it in the 30 car. He goes in the third. The season two champ of the series. We're back and we're under yellow. And it's Lisa Shears, the sister of Dougie Shears. I have a hunch she might have gotten a little tap from Mike from Alexander Dawson in the 42. Yep. And he also hits Kathy Kintara and spins her around and into the wall. And ooh, Kathy did a masterful job keeping from hitting Lisa. But nonetheless, Lisa Shears got the fuzzy end of that little of, the, of that lollipop. On board with Lisa Shears. Let's go on board with her. Whew. 
Lisa Shears going down pit road. She makes a pit stop to repair the damage to her number 25 Kodiak Chevrolet. Is and she's back on the track right now. So up front is Lisa, Sh uh, excuse me, Ka Rachel Williams leading the race in car 27 with Russ Batson running second, Colin Cropley third. Fourth is Josh Osborne, and fifth is Alex Tanker. With Dylan Poteet, Justin Acosta, Connor Breton, Mike Becker, and Jasmine Acosta in the top ten. Pace car dives out of corner out of, on the pit road. As the green flag about to wave is Rachel Williams, car 27 out in front, and she will take the green flag. Russ Batson in second position in car 88. Of Chevrolet in first, Ford in second, Chevy in third, Pontiac in fourth, and a Ford in fifth. Here comes Colin Cropley to the inside. He side drives off of Russ Benson once, twice, maybe three times. Josh Osborne had thoughts of making it three wide. And Osborne's going to draft Cropley up to the front and then maybe try to make it three wide. No. Osborne falls back in behind Colin, but let's see what he may. He may have, have a shot at trying to turn three. Yes, he does. Josh Osborne now will try for the lead. Out of the corner number four, does he get it? No. Cropley will lead the lap. But here comes Osborne. Josh Osborne to the lead. He's got it. And boy, look at this strewn of cars coming out of corner number four. Jasmine Acosta, car six. She tries to the inside. She goes for second, but not for long because there comes Alex Tanker. He goes for the same spot. So does Michael Dawson in the 52. And they almost got four wide coming out of the turn. And boy, just some close corners racing down the backstretch here in Texas. As they come down in a in the third and fourth turns, now Connor Brayton made it three wide inside of Rachel Williams and Jasmine Acosta. And now here comes John Acosta to the inside of Colin Crop. I think this is for second, I believe. Four wide down the back stretch. Somebody's gonna have to back off. It was Michael Dawson who backed off. 20 laps to go, and they're racing like it's the final lap. And look at this from the from the helicopter cam. That's what it looks like from the up from up high above. Sasha Dawson in the 68 car. She dies inside of Zoar Mund and. Well, we are under caution. Uh, we'll see what the cause of the yellow was. I believe it might have been Ryan Cooper. I don't know. Well, we were so excited watching the copter cam. I think we've missed what happened to uh, cause the yellow flag. Excuse me on that. I think Cooper might have been the cause of it in the 33 Skull Bandit Chevrolet. Indeed he was. Comes out of corner number two. He gets hit by Charles Jackson and hits Dougie Shears. And Trent Dunham might have tapped him too in the 24. And nonetheless, Ryan Cooper was the loser in this incident. Ryan Cooper stalls the car and then got it to go, then got her started again. This happened almost at the halfway point of the race as Josh Osborne 
Now has the lead of the race with Justin Acosta second, Connor Breton third, Colin Cropley fourth, and Zed Weinstein running in fifth. Then comes Rachel Williams, Zohar, uh, Russ Batson, Zohar Munhand, Alex Tanker, and Sasha Doss in the top ten. And we're about to go green flag racing once again. This will be on lap number 19. We have 18 completed in the books and 16 laps to go. Osborne gets a good start here, but here comes Connor Breton diving the inside of John Acosta in the seven. And Connor has the number two spot now. He finished fifth at our last outing at Best finish this season of fifth at Darlington. Running very, very well right now here at Texas. And here comes Connor Breton dives the inside of Josh Osborne and he just passes him with ease as they come out of the backstretch. And Russ Batson in the 88 car goes into the second position now. And Connor Breton leads his first lap of the season. But look who's come to dinner in a 68 car, the paint car, Sasha Dawson. The pink car and the lady now goes in the number two position, but not for long because here comes Josh Osborne in the 30 car, side by side for a second, and Josh Osborne's going to get in that bright yellow number 30. He's got Rachel Williams and Colin Cropley getting into it now. Colin making his presence back in the top five. He got high on the, on the restart and dropped back to several spots. Now he's going to go back up high again. <laughs> Meantime, it's still Connor Breton out in front. Here at Texas, as John Acosta gets past Rachel Williams for second. Mike Doobie making his presence felt now. Car 15, the Motorcraft Ford. Russ Badson in the 88. Getting into it as well. Chevrolet in first, the Ford in second, Chevy in third, and the Ford in fourth and fifth. Make that sixth now with Jasmine Acosta. Roush Yates horsepower in fifth and sixth positions now. But I, John Acosta, he's closing right in on Connor Brayton in the Joe Gibbs Racing Chevrolet. They come out of corner number four here. Nine laps to go here at Texas. Team Acosta trying to get their first win of the season. Yeah, we did. I thought I heard wall hitting going on, and it was Ryan Acosta in the four who scraped the wall. 
Well, apparently it may have been more than that. And I believe it involved the two of Adrian Becker as well in the two car. Let's see what happened down the back stretch. Uh-huh. Adrian Becker got nailed by the five of Colin Cropley. Cropley got dropped back to about the 20th position. I think he's not, he was none too thrilled about that. Takes it out on Adrian Becker. And shoves her. Yeah, and Colin got some damage there with the four of Ryan Acosta. Instead, cost Ryan a car. Adrian Becker goes on this long slide. Let's go on board. Let's go on board with Adrian Becker. Let's ride along with her. Adrian Becker stalls the car and then finally, get, finally gets the car to start and gets it going again. Connor Breton out in front. He wants to. He wants a shot at being in the All Star race. He's got. So let's we'll see how many laps they'll have when they come to the stripe or the pace car. Let's see what the pace car lights will be off this time. By this will be the completion of lap. 30 of 34. We will get this race restarted, no question. In fact, next time by, we will. It'll be three laps to go when we get this race restarted here at Texas Motor Speedway. It'll be Connor Breton out in front here in Texas as the green flag waves three laps to go. And he got a good start, but so did Rachel Williams in the 27. We have not had a female winner this season. It's been all boys so far. Rachel could be our first win female winner this season. And here she comes. She dives inside of Connor Breton in the 18. Let's see at least that lap. Connor does. Two laps to go. Here comes Mike Doobie dives to the inside of Rachel Williams. Or dives inside of Co uh, Connor Brayton, excuse me. Ray Caster, he wants his second one in a row. Three wide down the back stretch. Doobie dives to the inside of Williams. Williams slams the door on him. Out of corner number four. This time in the white flag. There'll be one more lap to go here at Texas. Can Rachel Williams hold him all up one more time? Ray Caster goes in a second. He wants two in a row. Down the backstretch, Rachel Williams out in front. Trying to become the first, well, trying to become the first female to win this season. In fact, she might do it as they come out of corner number four. Caster cannot close in. Rachel Williams wins the Samsung Mobile 500 here at Texas and a berth into the All-Star race in Charlotte. Her first ever win, and say hello to female number nine to win in the Castle Kiki X Cup Series. As Rachel becomes our ninth woman to ever win in this series. And first since Sasha Dawson back at Kansas last season. Average speed 114.220. Rachel Williams takes the win her, in car 27. Ray Caster second. Connor Breton finishes third. A good run for him. Then comes Alex Tanker, Josh Osborne, Zed Weinstein, Just, Jasmine Acosta sixth. Mike Duby, Jeremy Duby, Justin, or John Acosta, excuse me, and Batson 11th. Russ Batson 12th. Mike Becker, Zohar Munhan, and Sasha Dawson in 15th. And then 
comes Taylor Acosta, Aaron Williams, Michael Dawson, Alexander Jones, and Dylan Poteet, the top 20. And then right down the a little further down, Dalton Day, 22nd. Not a good run for him. Uh, Keith Batson finishes 28th position. And on down the list there, Colin Cropley is not going to be happy with that one. 32nd. And then Adrian Becker, 31st. Uh, Colin, a start. Felt, felt, I actually somewhat feel sorry for Colin. He had a top five car that whole race. And then dropped down about the 32nd position. Got caught up on a high side in the late lap. Screwed himself out of a shot at a possible win, maybe. Uh, but at least he wasn't one of the two retirees. Ryan Acosta and Jack Richards were the two retirees in this race. But the win today, the, sp the series sponsors car wins today. The catch to which he gets 27 of Rachel Williams wins today. As I said, we'll get a berth into the All-Star event at Charlotte. Ray Caster has the points lead right now by 30 over Jeremy Doobie after seven events. Then ja Justin Acosta, Lisa Shears, Connor Breton, Sasha Dawson, Charles Jackson, Rachel Williams up to eighth in the points. John, John, John Acosta, ninth. And Super Shears, Dougie Shears, up to 10th position. Alexander Jones in 20th in the points right now. And there's the rest of the order. Trent Dunham back in 36th position. Not a good year for him so far. Talladega is next on the tour. The Aaron's 499. Don't miss it. <laughs> 